or you can say like I want to see the what you need to tell tell in crisp clear so that officer hello friends today i like to give you some very important updates regarding the b1 and b2 visa category you know that you are waiting from the last couple of years like before pandemic people got but in the meantime people are waiting for the what are the uh the b1 and b2 uh time frame and the stuff like we can book the slot so I have many clients that I'm helping with currently and also many of the subscribers in, in YouTube they're asking when I can go through the B1 and B2 visa category so today's blog is regarding that it's very good news so I would suggest you to watch entire video so that you can get the each and every updates uh, for B1 B2 visa okay so welcome to abhi's blog so today I like to give you some very important updates regarding the B1 B2 visa that Indian consulate, uh, Indian um, consulate like United States uh, Embassy, they are upgrading in their website that B1, B2 visa category is getting open and you should be able to book the fresh B1, B2 visa slot. Is not amazing? I think yes. Within the next couple of weeks, you'll be seeing uh, more updates are coming and you should be able to book the visa slots from India okay so Indian consulate is giving updates like the next couple of weeks but I have seen people are trying hard there is multiple capture I understand our life is not easy life is very hard getting harder day by day but what is the good news is officially fresh beyond B2 visa slots are getting open so you should be able to apply for the visit visa to fly back to America right you might be waiting for the B1 B2 visa from the long time uh, you might be uh, waiting to see your uh, children who is currently studying in this country you might be waiting to see your um, son or daughter who is um, in the United States in H1B visa or L1 visa those kinds of things who live here as a family many situation but we know our parents are not able to come to this country because the B1 B2 visa slots are not open so it was bad for a couple of years and who has not uh, fly before like first time the fresh B1 B2 visa is a problem because they are not allowing to uh, skip the interview on the stuff but the first time uh, this is happening for the fresh B1 B2 visa slots are opening for 2022 so I can gi give you some inside news like uh, if you are able to book now you'll be getting the appointment on month of August and September uh, I have some client that I'm currently working with them and also I have many subscribers they are continuously telling like this is happening Avi and uh, we are able to book that one in this uh, despite there is a lot of capture I am able to find out the way and uh, breakthrough we are able to uh, f uh, file the D1 uh, D160 form and with the help of the many consultancy form and with the help of uh, at night filing or the unknown time filing you should be able to file your uh, a b1 b2 visa slot that is the thing happening so this is a very good news so if you have your parents overseas if you like or if you like to bring your uh, brother sister as a uh, visit to you uh, to see you or it might be your friends who like to who eager to see you that you never seen uh, i mean you last couple of uh, last couple of years you did not see your friends so they will be able to fly to america and able to meet you there is many situation i personally know like b1 b2 visa is happening uh, like this like parents like to come here uh, but the, their son and daughter is having a, a, a like let's see um, uh, like the new newborn baby but because of the consulate uh, indian consulate was closed and honestly speaking there was no b1 visa slot or there was no beyond visa category that you were able to apply before but at this moment yes you are able to apply so it's a very good news so what you need to do what is the next step continuously check on the slot booking website 
so that you will be able to break through. Um, try at night, try work hard, try on the daytime, on the lunch break, on the some kinds of things so that you will be able to book your visa slot for the B1, uh, B2 visa slot. Gather all the information in hand, get it ready so that you know how to file for the DS-160 form and you know how to book the slot so that they will be asking you many questions once you book the slot. And at this moment, as I told you, month of August, September is the time, but I have seen people, uh, some of my client was able to book by their self. They are telling is uh, you might be getting uh, within like within a couple of uh, months. So if this is a month of April, you'll be able to get something in June or uh, July kind of thing. There, there is many possibilities. So if, if the demand is more and let's say there is not much slot um, available, uh, it's can be happen or uh, but if that is like the vice versa happening like many people are not booking and indian consulate are able to uh give you more slot this kind of things then you'll be lucky so continuously check on my channel i will be creating the second video i promise to give you the updates like when and how to book the b1 b2 visa from india so that you'll be able to successfully go through the process and your visa is successful so today apart from this one i like to give you some very basic idea about the b1 b2 category b1 b2 visa category is a non-immigrant visa this is the visa that you are not coming to united states for work or study you are just coming to united states just to see the places or meet with your friends or doing some business deal not actual work just for the business meeting and the stuff so how that works is like let's see a um, couple of story i can tell uh, uh, i mean for the v b1 b2 visa category visa officer was asking what is the purpose for the visit in united states um, you should be asked to give you the reason why you are visiting United States. W what is the reason you will be coming to United States? You should not be just to tell like visit tourism. See, tourism is a one thing you can tell. I'm coming to see the Niagara Falls is fine. Or I love the Detroit, Michigan car show. Or you can say like, I want to see the ball drop in Times Square. Anything can happen. It's up to you, but if you prepare yourself and give some little more details, let's see. Example: If I'm uh, if I'm replying like this, officer, well, I like to go to United States because my son and my uh, in-law daughter live there, and they are having a baby. So I feel that's the best idea to give my support to them, so that they are uh, their journey gonna be rewarding, so that I can be able to meet my grandson or daughter. And that's why I'm meeting. That's why I'm, I like to go to United States as a B1, B2 visa. How about that? It's very simple. Tell the truth. Do not tell. Do not lie. Do not lie. Because I'm telling you, if you lie and re, uh, if you lie and uh, reject one time, you'll be it'll be out. I'm telling you. So prepare yourself. What you need to tell, tell in crisp, clear, so that officer are gonna be satisfied with your answer. You need to tell what is the true thing. If you are lying or let's say you are rejected, you may not be able to book a, another slot. See the same things happening currently with the student visa. A student visa was rejected for some people eh, and they are not able to apply for the fall se season in se or on the September season. That is the thing. They will be you'll be out of luck for the 2022. So. Uh, sometime officer visa officer may ask you like what uh, have you traveled United States before you might be thinking okay I went to United States like the 15 years back nobody knows so just tell a lie um, I never been to um, United States how about that you find out no do not play with the visa officer tell the truth because you have a fingerprint you have the itinerary they have all your um, records like w when you came to United States first time you might be visiting to United States uh, California like 15 years back or the 30 years back but United States has all of your record so do not play with the visa officer do not tell lie tell truth if you cannot answer something let's see example let me give you uh, who will be supporting your uh, entire cost or who will be sponsoring your um, visa 
or like how you'll be surviving when you'll be coming to United States. So to answer your or to prepare your question, you do not need to, uh, I mean, buy the flight ticket when you are going to the visa, just to tell you. But you should have a solid itinerary. How the solid itinerary works is you should be ha having, let's say you are going for the month of September interview. Okay, you got it. Let's say everything is fine within a couple of weeks. You are able to book the visa slot. You are going for the visa interview on September. Now on September, you'll be telling my uh, friends is sponsoring me. They have their own house. So I do not need any hotel to book. I'll be staying with them. And this is the letter. This is the invitation letter from my friends. And they told they will be supporting my uh, stay when I will be in United States. Also, I am doing a good job in, in, in India. I have a solid background of the government job and I'm, I have lots of property in India. So uh, I can support myself. I have some liquid cash in my bank. This is my bank statement where I will be able to support myself. So this kind of crystal clear answer uh, the visa officer want to know. Do not play around and do not lie. If you are lying, I told you many times, don't lie to, with the visa officer. Just tell the truth. And if you cannot answer some question like um, uh, this is a loss of money um, when you will be coming to United States, who will be supporting or who will be sponsoring? As I told you, there can be multiple people sponsoring you like your Accommodation for the last end-to-end uh, uh, -end scenario, as I told you, your last scenario, uh, your friends is supporting with your accommodation where your flight ticket is sponsoring by you yourself because you have a good job. Let's say you are a government job in India or you are a government uh, employee or you are a private employee, but in a good, um, good bank balance uh, you have. So bank statement you have. So show that so that you can prove that you will be coming to United States and you have enough money to support yourself. Uh, for visiting everywhere, wherever your itinerary is. And also you'll be coming back to India because you have a permanent job. Simple. So say that one as a truth. Okay. Um, I can um, tell you like the visa officer is going to ask you some tricky question regarding like they want to know you'll be going back to India or not. So definitely you need to prove this way that you do not have any intention after coming to United States to convert your visa at this moment. You might change your mind later on, but at this moment when you are facing visa interview, you need to tell the truth that you are coming to United States just for the visit purpose or just to attend the business meeting or to do the deal. If you have any intention to settle here, let's say you are coming for a, a H1B conversion later on, or you like to come here and later on you'll be putting an asylum seeker, you'll be putting an asylum that you like to stay in this country as a permanent resident, or your intention is to marry a United citizen uh, person, those kinds of thing, if you have any intention, officer will deny your visa. Definitely, they like to know you will be coming to United States and do your B1 related work, B1 related purpose, not the work, and then going back to India successfully. No other kinds of business you should be able to do when you are coming to United States. Then um, uh, officer might ask you like, will you be traveling alone or with your family or with your children? Tell the truth like I'll be coming to United States by myself and that time my children will be taken care by my uh, wife or that kind of thing. And obviously with the B1, B2 visa category uh, is the most uh, common visa category I can tell because many people come to this country just to see and explore how America is and then decide later on they go back to India and decide this country gonna be good for me or not. One of the example I can give you, uh, my friend uh, got the permanent residency in Melbourne, Australia and then he 
he got the permanent residency and he was uh, thinking to stay in uh, Australia permanently and then he thought let's give it a try